Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is Jacoby Jackson. This is music production guide. I want to teach you on how to record vocals on Cubase. Teach you on positionings on vocals from the mic and active settings. And make sure you subscribe and get updated on every. Yeah, yeah. I just want to introduce you another dope artist. He came all the way from Lagos, Nigeria to work on a particular track. On this track, we'll be using it as a guide on teaching you on how to record vocals and audio settings. So right here, I have Fizzy Froosh. This is awesome now, fam. You're from now, you see So you see it. Like get that we do beat where you say you go see now you go just start just the jump. No, so meanwhile, I believe really you. I will play them so you go see, you go get some vibes. So okay. can I know you more? Well, I am Fizzy Frosh, you know, as you all know. And funny enough, I've been following your tutorials on YouTube, and I'm very happy to be here now because man, I've been looking forward to working with you. So thanks a lot for having me once again. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. So make sure you go subscribe, make sure you go comment. We have a lot, a lot to teach you. Stay back and get on to the tutorial. Peace! Yeah, 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 yeah. Our last lecture was on sample overview on Afrobeat settings. So right now, I will do on sound overview. I was able to add two sounds on this book, on this beat, sorry. And um, I'll play what's... I feel that can, that can go well on this beat. Then uh, play the second part, although I have added the bass line. This, this is just a sample overview and sound overview without the bass line, without any other much instrument. Just want to make sure I keep it so simple and very straight. So as now, I will, I was able to add, uh, okay, let me first play for, for the sake of people that didn't follow the last lecture, I'll play the percussion or rather the sample overview of what we did in the last lecture. So listen and let's see. The overview sample of our last lecture on Afro beats. So I was able to add a sound just like uh, a uh, suited uh, case, like an e piano sound, so that it will give it uh, that movement vibe of the Afro beat. So let me just show you what I was able to add on, on the sound overview. <laughs> Piano. I play a piano on this. There's another sound which I was able to use, although it's a nylon guitar. You know, I got it from Purity. So I use it on this particular way. You understand? So let's see what that um, guitar plays. <laughs> Seven. seven channels I just make an Afro beat without the bass line, without the other, but you can get vibe. So, um, right about now, I will be like uh, involving or introducing you a guy from Lagos, Fizzy Flush, that probably will do a vocal freestyle on this beat. Then let's see how it goes. But meanwhile, I will be teaching you using his freestyle to teach you the positionings of vocals, how you do position in the mic. Because some artists don't know how to position on the mic, the distance 
in the mic and you know from the pop filter the mic and himself so what am i trying to say in the essence is that if you are an artist and uh, you have a deeper voice you can voice you don't need to come more closer to the mic but if you are like a, a soft voice vocalist or artist you should come more closer but if you have a loud voice you go more distance from the pop filter or mic whatever so you can actually get the texture you want so uh Pizzy fresh is not that a loud artist but a soft artist he has so many feels so many textures and his vocals so he will show you a distance overview of the mic settings so that you're able to see so um right about now he'll be recording on the on this beat like a freestyle let's see how what he has yeah it's fizzy frosh it's freestyle <coughs> Baby, cool it down. They call me Fizzy Fresh, I'm a bad man. Baby, for your love, I do this freestyle. Girl, I know the line, I eat it from my mind. Or you come down, baby, now you be my main cheeky. I defer for you, not be film tricky. Any song you want, baby, you go sing it. Because I know my room, make me do the thing. Eh? Baby girl, I go show you love. 30 billion for account, I go give you up. Anytime you miss me, just put call. And anytime I miss you, I'm on a booty call. In my naine, boozy, me boom, my naine, cause you make it my naine. I'm a miss my naine, I'm a boozy, my naine. I'm a memo 30, in a memo 40. Get it, they make I'm rain, even my no coach. Yeah. Okay, so right about now, Fizzy Flow showed so much killed uh, this song, man, or rather this Afro beat. <laughs> so now um, he was able to jump on a freestyle on this beat, and let's see what he was able to do. Although these vocals doesn't have any effect, doesn't have any auto tune, any revive, but we'll place it just natural. Let's see what he sounds without those effects. Thank you. And uh, so he was able to record this. Remember, there is no effect on these vocals, it's just straight. So, although for the people that didn't know how I was able to create the audio settings or the audio channel or tracks, make sure you go through my previous lectures where I introduced how to add MIDI tracks, audio, and group track. Read it or go through it, watch it go through it, and uh, you learn how I was able to add the audio um, tracks. So he has recorded on this particular tracks, and this is so wonderful. But you know, like this, if actually uh, you want to make an Afro beat, record an Afro beat, you might, you might have come a long way when having this thing. And no, listeners will be like, wow, I like this. Very simple, very straight to the point, without no much instrument. So at this junction, I want to thank you for watching on this tutorial. I'm so blessed to have you as my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you go down to Music Production Guide, subscribe, ask questions on the comment below, and we're gonna answer you immediately, straight. Peace.